All right, here's a classic story. 60 years it's been a story. Good night, moon. So, Good Night, Moon by Margaret Wise Brown. Pictures by Clement Hurd. This is obviously a newer printing. I don't know what happened to the version I had when I was little, but I know that my mama read it to me. And I've read it to my baby monsters. We've also enjoyed The Runaway Bunny. That was a favorite, too. I'm not sure where our copy is. a story about going good night and all of us go to bed every night this is from the Harper Collins publishers good night moon by Margaret Wise Brown pictures by Clement Hurd originally published in 1947 that was a long time ago all right in the great green room it's green there was a telephone. Telephones used to look like this. They were had what's called a rotary dial that turned around. And it had a little bell in it. So it would go ding 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 ding. And a red balloon. Ooh, here's a red balloon. And a picture of you know what the picture's of? Well, which picture are we gonna talk about, do you think? Let's see. We're talking about both of them. The cow jumping over the moon. Moo. And moon. This is called a crescent moon. It's for the shape. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs. I wonder what fairy tale this one's from. Can you guess? Is it Sleeping Beauty? Is it Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Yeah. And two little kittens. One, two, and a pair of mittens. One, two and a little toy house here it is and a young mouse can you find the mouse where is it hmm is it here no that's an elephant is it here no it's knitting is it here nope those are socks it's right here. Good job. And a comb. And a comb. And a brush. So here's the comb. And here's the brush. And a bowl full of mush. Right there. So that means they must have a real little baby for them to have mush instead of oatmeal or something else. A little bit sturdier and you see they're a family of rabbits and a quiet old lady who was whispering hush I think she's trying to make you go sleep sleep be quiet it's bedtime good night room see everything in the room it's time to go sleep sleep Here's little baby bunny. Bedtime bunny. Good night moon. Good night cow jumping over the moon. Oh, sorry. Good night light. And the red balloon. Good night bears. Good night chairs. Oh, the bunny's turning around to say goodnight to the bears in the chairs. Here's the little clock. Good night, kittens. Oh. And good night, mittens. Good night, clocks. 
can you find both the clocks? Here's one. Hmm. Is this it? Nope, that's a phone. What about this? Oh, no, that's a fireplace. <gasps> right here, above it. And good night, socks. Here are the socks. Good night, little house. And good night, mouse. Oh, there's our mousey. She's so tiny. Good night, comb. And good night, brush. Comb and brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. And good night to the old lady whispering hush. Do you think that's his grandma? It definitely could be. Uh oh. What's the mousey doing? Mouse is going for the mush. That's what mousey is doing. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. Oh, look, the kittens are curled up to sleep on the chair. And the little mouse is watching the stars. And the little bunny is going to sleep. And that's the end. Here's some information about the authors and the artist. The author and the artist. And it's among baby's first books. Alright. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a classic. Thank you so much for listening. And you have a great night. Good night.